Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader this afternoon is Archbishop Michael Fitzgerald, formerly head of the Pontifical Council for Interreligious Dialogue and the Papal Nuncio in Egypt. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, I thank you for giving me the honour to address you this afternoon. As you may know, I belong to the Society of Missionaries of Africa, known as the White Fathers. The Society has long been established in Scotland and has had and still has many distinguished Scottish members. As a young boy, I started off my training to be a missionary by spending three months at St. Boswell's in the beautiful Tweed Valley. Our society was founded in Algeria and its first work was among Muslims, responding to a humanitarian need caused by an outbreak of cholera. It is in the field of interreligious dialogue particularly Christian-Muslim relations that I have worked as a missionary. Interreligious dialogue has been defined in an official doc Vatican document as meeting the followers of other religions in order to walk together toward truth and to work together in projects of common concern. In other words, it is an ongoing process we can never say, we've made it, we're there. We can now rest on our laurels. We have always to be ready to begin again. Because tensions arise, conflicts break out, and these need to be overcome. Moreover, it means walking together, creating relationships, building up friendship, which cannot be done by one group alone. As Pope John Paul II said in Assisi at the conclusion of the World Day of Prayer for Peace, either we learn to walk together in peace and harmony or we drift apart and ruin ourselves and others. This dialogue implies openness to others appreciation of the values of the respective religions, awareness of the needs of those who are different from us, willingness to create the necessary trust in order to act together. It means having a wider vision than just one's own religion or religious denomination, a readiness to work for the common good. In the multicultural multi-religious society which Scotland has become, there is a great need for this ongoing dialogue and cooperation. I would like to take this opportunity of saluting and applauding all the initiatives that have been taken and the efforts that are being made. May the one God who is that truth drawing us on bless and sustain all these efforts so that Scotland may continue to be an example to the world. <clears throat> 